now this week fun time coming down highway semi truck in front of me and this big ass rock flew off the back of it and now it has cracked my windshield so it's got pretty bad just over from the course of last night to now so i just got to the dallas um terminal here pretty nice IC terminal uh, well a company terminal as well but uh, they do have an express bay and they can fix it right away so that's a plus so I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out I'll we'll probably show y'all a little tour around this this terminal a little later I'm not really sure what's here it's my first time here so stay tuned so YouTube it's your boy Kenno back with another video um, this video we're gonna do week 10 and 11 because week 10 I only did one load so <clears throat> it's not worth trying to do it by itself and then week 2 only did two loads because on week 10 one of my loads got cancelled so uh, week 10 let's jump into it um, I did head it over to Waller Texas for a drop and hook this is after I got the windshield and everything fixed out there in Dallas um, Shouts out to Dallas Terminal. Um, real quick, real nice people. The, top, the terminal ain't that big. I mean, people say it's big. Like, it got a lot of parking, honestly. But as far as amenities, I mean, they do have a cafeteria. It's open till 10 o'clock. Um, they got laundry. Their laundry is free. That's a plus. We didn't have that at Prime. You had to pay. And they had a little mini gym. Had, like, an elliptical bike. Like, a couple things in there. Um, they did have free showers um, and Wi-Fi, and they had a little company store. So that's about it. Nothing too fancy, nothing too great. It's in the middle of nowhere, so I ain't really nothing around there. So keep that in mind if you ever go to Dallas Terminal. But anyway, um, I got over to Waller, Texas with the drop my hook load. That was 25,000 pounds. Uh, I took that load 893 miles over to Jefferson, Georgia. That was a load to get me over there so I could see my daughters for Christmas. Um, and that load was a drop and hook as well. The load paid $1,847. Now, after I delivered that load, I did have a second load that was supposed to pick up out of Fairburn. I got over there Friday originally and the lady was like yeah just go ahead drop your trailer in the door so i did that went and did some christmas shopping came back that night i slept at their parking lot and um saturday morning when i got up i checked in and the lady's like um the lady's like well that load um they were my load and a couple other loads she said they were still a whole day behind because three of their work only three workers showed up which which is expected it's the holiday time and it's literally the day before christmas at that so um she told i asked how long would it be and she told me it would probably be the day the load was due which was monday or possibly tuesday so obviously i wasn't gonna stay on the load so i ended up calling snyder and getting a vnu for that for 150 bucks it is what it is and um i just went home so i wound up losing that load which was i think it was like a 1300 load to take down to florida but it is what it is um so in total i i got paid 1997 dollars and then also on that week which i forgot about i got another payment of my sign on bonus which was sixteen hundred dollars so in total i got paid three thousand five hundred and ninety seven dollars and deductions was one thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars um so with with that my take home was one thousand eight hundred and seventy one dollars so that bonus really saved me because i would have had like a two hundred dollar paycheck and i honestly forgot about that bonus because they they pay it out like i think like every four weeks or something like that so I think I still got one more payment of that if I'm not mistaken so that came in clutch that week so definitely definitely worked out so week 11 I did two loads the first load I did I did head it over to 
Albany, Georgia for a drop and hook load. That load was 13,000 pounds. I'm going 750 miles to Houston, Texas. And it was a drop and hook over there as well. And actually, no, 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 no. That was not a drop and hook. That was a live unload. That was a live unload. And it was at a Walgreens warehouse out there. Um, reading the reviews, I was a little skeptical because a lot of people saying it was there for hours and hours. Um, I got there, I believe, 30 minutes before my appointment, and I was out in like two hours, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I definitely thought it was going to be worse, but it was actually pretty quick. Um, people, once they came in at 6, about 6.30, they started unloading me. I think a little after 8, I was gone, so that definitely worked out a lot better for me. And that load paid $1,517. So it wasn't a bad load at all. Super light. Didn't waste too much fuel. The second load, I did head it over to Pondville, Louisiana for a drop and hook. That load was 30,000 pounds going 816 miles over to Lakeland, Florida to the Publix Warehouse. And um, that was a live unload as well. Um, the people didn't come in till my appointment was at four. The people came in at four, but they started unloading me probably like 4.30ish, probably like 5.15, 5.30. I was already out of there. So they didn't take long at all, which I'm used to going to that Publix warehouse, but I'm always, I've always done refrigerated. So but on that side, they take hours, like it's crazy. So shout out to them for that. Um, that load paid one thousand five hundred and twelve dollars um and after that load i ended up going home for the new year anyway so that worked out for me so in total i made three thousand and twenty nine dollars my deductions was two thousand three hundred and twenty seven dollars which was higher this week because here they only take your tolls out once a month and that just so happened to be the week that my tolls came out so my deduction was a lot higher because i think i had a lot of tolls over the past month so um after all that my take home was 702 dollars which is cool because everything was paid i wasn't in the hole so i'm cool with that and i'll be back to normal now that all the holidays are over so i'll be back to running my usual so Stay tuned for that. Um, definitely gonna change up the content a little bit. Probably gonna turn it more into like vlog style, probably real soon. Um, so we gonna see, we gonna see. Um, other than that, appreciate you for watching. Share the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you need to contact me, my information is down below. I do respond if you contact me. I've had drivers hit me up. I've will gladly answer your questions um so yeah have a good one